Okay, as you can see, we have a Craftsman Zero Turn Riding Lawnmower ZTL 7000 is the model number. And I'm going to be changing the drive belt and also I'm going to be changing the PTO belt, which drives the blades on this lawnmower. So I've already started a little bit because it's a lot easier to uh, show you how to get this deck off with the deck actually off. So here's the deck already removed from the right side of the lawnmower, but this is very, very simple deck to, to take, take off. Um, simply remove this bolt on the left side and two other bolts up here on the front and lift this out. That will allow you access to your belt in here that turns the blades. And, the, um, and then when you're on the back side, when this is still installed, this will be wrapped around the bottom pulley on the drivetrain and this is what turns the blades and this is attached to the clutch so to remove this belt from the back pulley take a screwdriver and stick it up into the right side right here and pull back and down that will release the spring up there and allow this to travel so back right side screwdriver up in there pry it down and it'll pop right off of the PTO clutch then the only other thing you have to do to get this out is take on each side the left and right side pull this spring back and remove this uh, enough to release um, the bracket and then pull it right out of the right side of the lawnmower very simple to get this deck out from underneath this riding lawnmower to speed this video up a little bit, I've already removed a couple of things. So to remove the top cover here from the flywheel, I've got one bolt here that needs to be removed. I remove that one. And then I've got four bolts here that need to be removed. And I've removed those. And that will give me access to the top of this flywheel here. So I'm going to put a wrench on this. Uh, I'm going to crawl underneath it. Um, and I'm going to attach a wrench to the bottom nut on the bottom of the clutch down underneath and then allow me to break that loose and then that will allow me to loosen the bolt on the bottom and drop the clutch. Okay, just a couple of tips to make this job a little easier. I've got this up on, on uh, uh, jack stands or a ramp and this makes access much easier to do this job. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I, it takes both hands. So can't really show this but I'm going to uh, I've got a wrench here on the top of this I'm going to crawl into here with my other hand and I've got a um, 5 8 socket which is going to go right on this bolt underneath the clutch and then I'm going to loosen that and drop this clutch but the first thing I need to do before I do that is disconnect the elect the electrical switch to the clutch, which is right here on this left side. If I can get this out of here. All right, I've got this clutch loose. And take this bolt out. And this is the clutch. This is the PTO clutch. There is a bushing on the top that I do not want to lose because this bushing will have to go back on right there. So I've got the bolt out, I've got the washer on the bolt, I've got the clutch, I'll set it aside. And now I'm trying to get to this drive belt. This is the drive belt up here for the transmission. So this one is damaged. All right, this was a little bit tricky, but I got it. So this is the back pulley. 
and you can see I've got the new belt around it. This is the tensioner pulley. And so I had to actually re compress the tensioner pulley toward the left side, toward the left tire, and then take a screwdriver and work my way in. And then it popped right on the pulley, on the tensioner. So now all I have to do is put the clutch back on and I should be good to go.